hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. <laughs> y'all, this story right here that threw me off, okay? This story right here is crazy, y'all, okay? So, a word on the street is... This man in this picture received a call from somebody that was pretending to be a lawyer. Okay, y'all? Now, they told this man, and this is his girlfriend, okay? They told him that he had inherited, that they was a lawyer, and he had inherited $30 million, okay? This is what they told him. After they told him that he had pretty much was going to receive this money him and his girlfriend i guess they got into it because he decided to break up with her because of this inheritance y'all okay he is 51 years old stephen edward riley jr 51 years old okay y'all his girlfriend was 47 years old and Soon as he said he was going to break up with her. Y'all, she gave him some stuff. He got sick. And he passed away. And they found out that um, she had gave him something afterwards. So she got arrested. But when they, you know, everything cleared and the smoke cleared. The family members came forth and said that he had been scammed and that it was a whole lie, y'all. I, I got, y'all, this is something else right here, seriously. So they said, this is what they said, and it was a tragic twist in the case of North Dakota man, you know, giving something over $30 million inheritance by a jealous girlfriend and finds out it was a scam, y'all. I wonder who did this to him. Seriously. And why did he think that... I mean, he didn't think to call none of his family members and be like, do you know who this person is? Or something like, before he just got the flying off the handle saying, oh, you out of here, basically. He got rid of her. She wasn't good enough for him anymore after he thought he got this $30 million, y'all. Y'all, they said a tra tragedy of Shakespearean proportions appears to be a brewing in north dakota this is how they say it y'all this it ain't funny but this is y'all a jealous girlfriend has been charged with poisoning y'all her boyfriend with antifreeze y'all as he went to collect a 30 million dollar inheritance check but his family claimed that they had been both been scammed steven Edward Riley Jr., 51 years old, fell ill as he went to the Manic Airport on September the 3rd to collect the surprise million, multi-million dollar payday. Look, are they still scamming people on the, on the phone, y'all? People ain't learned about these scams. I don't understand it. They'll tell you you want some. People will call your phone say you want something. And then they'll say you got to pay the taxes on the money before you can get it. These are all scams. And he was about to go out, out of town to go try to find and get this check, y'all. What was they about to do to this man if he would have actually won? Or well, it was just a prank. Police say his girlfriend, Anathea Kenoyer. I guess how you say her name. 47 years old, had gave him something leading to his demise two days later. A gruesome act, cops said, was driven by financial motives. Construction worker Miley, now he was already making some decent money if he was a construction worker, had big plans for the millions he was to receive, but apparently didn't want her 
to share in them and had planned to break up with her, y'all. But according to Riley, Ryan Riley, the victim's 21-year-old son, the couple had unwittingly fallen um, victims to an online scam. And there was never any money in the first place, y'all. This is what they're saying. You see how people will switch up on you and, and change on you when they think they're going to get something? But it backfired on him, okay? She was okay to be with him long as he was, you know, making some little money. But when he thought he came into this big money, she was out. He didn't want to be bothered with her no more. And then you end up falling victim to this online scam and getting your life taken because you was noobits day to find out, thinking that somebody going to give you $30 million. You got to know, you didn't even ask what family member is this or what, you know, the first thing you should have did was been calling the family like, who is this? What, don't he think he would have known that one of his family members was $30 million rich? Oh, y'all, please use your brain. Please use your brain. According to Ryan, his dad had received an email from a person who claimed to be a lawyer of an unknown distant relative and organized to meet him in Mana Airport to sign off on the cash. He wasn't suspicious before he went to the airport, but he was convinced he had inherited the money and was going to receive it when the supposed lawyer landed, Ryan told the Post. He planned on getting acres of land, giving me and some of my brothers a chunk, then opening his own auto shop. This is what he was planning on doing with this money. Y'all, please don't fall victim to none of this stuff, please. But the supposed lawyer never showed up. It was a scam. It was a stranger who managed to trick my dad into believing it was true, unfortunately. Ryan added, Kenoya also believed Riley, a father of five adult sons, was going to receive the unexpected windfall and it was her motive for allegedly taking him out. They weren't too happy and my dad wanted to leave her for a while, he said. He just never worked. She just never worked and was leeching off of him. She was extremely lazy and never did anything. Well, why didn't he break up with her before? He thought he was going to get this money if that's the case. Okay, y'all. My dad was a very caring person and would go out of his way to help those around him. Ryan, who is in the military and based in Texas, said he took emergency leave to rush to North Dakota when he learned his dad was in the hospital and visited his home following his demise. It was a very nasty conditions, he said. Dog waste almost everywhere, dirty clothes scattered all over the house, trash seemed to be endless, nothing there was clean. Kanoya told investigators she was entitled to some of Riley's inheritance as his common law wife and plan to split the money which she estimated to be about 30 million with his son police records show y'all Newpit's day to the 25th power he wasn't even sure that he was really gonna inherit all this money before he started he turned on her just like that she was okay all of these years. Because if she was saying that she was going to be his karma law wife, that she had, you know, ties to this money too, that means they've been together for a while. Because I know common law wife means if y'all been together a long, 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 long time. So why his son want to pop up and say, oh, she lazy, she ain't do this, she, she ain't do that. He knew that before. And he had a decent job. So why not break up with her before you came into this little money, y'all? Y'all, do y'all see how stuff backfired on people that karma be something else, don't it? He thought he was about to dump her. Because he got this money. Not because she was lazy. Not because of all of this stuff. Because if that's the case, he would have did it at first. They continue on by saying, however, North Dakota does not recognize common law marriages. So her claim would have been, you know, throughout, okay, from the start. 
Riley became ill when he went to meet with a lawyer to collect a massive inheritance sum. He was going to be sick if he she did something to him or not. When he actually went to go out of town to fly somewhere to go meet with somebody, he was going to be sick anyway when he found out that he wasn't going to get all that money that he had already planned on what he was going to do with it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Witnesses told investigators, according to the police documents, that Captain Dale Plassus, investigation commander in Monette Police Department, told the Post Wednesday that both Stephen and Anna believed the $30 million inheritance was real. But we have no indication that it would have ever been paid out. Kanoya didn't call 911 until the next day. When paramedics arrived to find Riley unresponsive in his Manote house, okay? He passed away in a hospital the following day. A police advocate alleges Kanoya told authorities Riley had suffered from heat stroke when he became ill, but an autopsy report later found that his demise was caused by her giving him something. The main chemical used to make antifreeze, which police allege Kanoya fed him, y'all. According to the cops, investigators searching the couple's home located a Windex bottle containing what was suspected as to be antifreeze, y'all. A beer bottle and plastic mug also suspected of containing antifreeze were lo located in the garage. Kanoya seemingly had an up and down relationship with Riley and had previously written um, about her apparent, you know, disdain for him in a series of Facebook posts. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. She posted on Facebook that to watch out for this man. She said, he'll bleed you dry and spit you out. I wish I was worried about this man. A third post on the account with a different picture of Riley. She was just posting up pictures, leaving different posts, y'all. This is what I was telling y'all about this whole, um, this whole little incident with Krishan now. It's some people out here with some screws missing, y'all. Some screws missing. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all be careful who y'all call yourself dating. That's all I can say. But y'all be be careful of the online stuff. Like I ain't got to worry about that with my subscribers because they don't be on that. They do not be on no crap like that. If anything, um. They would have told somebody to kick rocks if they would have called their house. Well, I know my subscribers wouldn't have failed for this. But, y'all, this is sad on so many levels. Because he was so in love with this woman until he thought he was getting his money. Then to find out the money ain't even real. And then she ended up taking... Couldn't take back what she did because she had already gave it to him. So he was going to pass away regardless. But she just figured that since, you know, they do not have common law marriage there... It didn't matter to her. She wasn't going to get any no way. I want to do it matter to her now. I bet she is sitting in that cell Nupit's day. Okay, y'all. You went to jail for nothing. It was a scam. I know she feels stupid right now, y'all. I know she do. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Y'all be careful who y'all out here call yourself falling in love with. Seriously. He had mapped out everything talking about he was gonna give this amount to his sons he was gonna get do this with this money and that and she wasn't included in the plan in, in the plans at all but this is somebody that is apparently feeding you because she gave you the stuff and your food so it can't apparently she's cooking it you know whatever else she's doing for you and she's been doing that for years and you end up losing your life over that phone call and then you switching up on this woman that has been with you all of this time.
Boy, I tell y'all that karma be, don't be playing sometime. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.